Hi, uh, today we're going to work on the question that came in paper 2H, uh, June 2022, IGCSE, Math, Elixir. The question for the coordinate geometry, the kite part. Uh, as you see here, the question is kite A, B, C, D on a grid, one-to-one -one grid, diagonal drawing A, C, and B, D that intersect at point M, uh, coordinates of point A, negative 3 and 4, coordinates of point M, 0 and 2, uh, AD is equal to AB equals 6.5 centimeter. Find the coordinates for point, points B and D. So the first thing is we need to draw the, uh, the kite in here. So let's assume this is the kite that we do have. And then we're going to match the diagonals. So here I will draw them. So we're going to match the diagonals for the kite and then we will see uh, the rest of the cabin. This question was out of seven marks uh, so let's work on this. So uh, I'm gonna say here this is A, B, C and point D. Uh, it's given the point A, the coordinates for point A are negative three and four and for point M here, which is the intersection of the two diagonals, it's 0 and 2. So let's try it here. M is 0 and 2. Here. Now we have the coordinates for A and M. One of the properties of the, the, the diagonals in the kite, the diagonals are perpendicular to each other and they meet. So you will try to get benefit of the perpendicular lines in here. So you can say that AM and BD or AM and MB, they are perpendicular. And then you can get benefit, the, get benefit from the relationship between the two perpendicular lines. Now we have the coordinates for point A and point M. So you can get the, gra uh, the gradient for line AM. And then you can get the gradient for um, either line BD or MB or M, D. I will try to work on assuming that the coordinates for point B, they are X1, Y1, and the coordinates for point D, they are X2 and Y2. So what I will do is I'm going to work on the gradient of AM first and then uh, the gradient of MB from the relationship between the two perpendicular lines. So let's get the gradient for AM. Gradient for AM is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so it will be here uh, we have the coordinates so we're going to start with 2 from point m minus 4 all over 0 minus negative 3 so it gives negative 2 out of 3 this is the gradient of am as i have said to you that um as i have mentioned before AC or AM is perpendicular to BD or AM is perpendicular to MB. So I can get the gradient of MB easily. So whenever you have two perpendicular lines, the gradient M1 by M2 is equal to negative one or it's negative the reciprocal of the first gradient. So if you have the first gradient negative two over three, MB will be three over two. So how can we get the gradient of MB if we have two points, point M and point B? Point M is zero and two, point B is X1 and Y1. So you can just write here MB, the gradient for MB is equal to, uh, if you're gonna use point M and point B, so I'm gonna start with uh, here Y1 minus two over X1 minus zero, and you know already the value for the gradient, which is three out of two. So you can get a relationship between X1 and Y1. You can do cross multiply, it will be Y1 minus two all over x1 is equal to 3 out of 2 you do cross multiplication it will be here 2y1 minus 4 is equal to 3x1 here then you have 2y1 you will try to make y a subject so you can then replace um, each y with uh, the given in terms of x so you can make one equation in x you get x value and then you come back to this equation to substitute to get the value of x. So we're going to make 2y1 uh, is equal to 3x1 plus 4. 
and then to make the y subject y1 will be 3 x1 plus 4 all over 2 and keep it for now keep it for now now let's work on something very very important uh, unfortunately some of, many of the students didn't notice this part or maybe they noticed the the first thing the relationship like Pythagoras theorem but they didn't use this part so let's see here now you have the length of AB is 6.5 centi and you can easily get the length for line AM because you have the coordinates for A, the coordinates of M so you can use distance between two points, the formula of distance between two points to get the length AM. So once you got the length of AM and you have the length of AB, you can get the length of MB using Pythagoras theorem. So once you get the length of MB, you can replace each y by this given value. So you're going to have one equation in terms of x. Then you get x coordinate. After that, you substitute here. You get y coordinate. So you can know the coordinates of point B. So let's work on this. Now I'm having, uh, let's get the length of uh, AM. We, I wish uh, we can have space for the whole question here. Let's get the length of AM, distance between two points. The formula is square root of x2. I'm not going to write the, the formula, but you can. it's better if it's written in the exam. x2 minus x1 uh, squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So I'm going to write here. If I'm working on point uh, the, the line AM, I'm having x2 here, which is 0. So you're going to have 0 minus x1, which is negative 3, all is squared, plus y2 which is uh, am it's 2 minus 4 all squared below the root so it will be here the am is this one would be 9 square uh, 3 squared which is 9 and so it will be root 13 so if you are working now on the right angle triangle a m b this one is 6.5 and this one is 100, uh, this one is root 13, root 30. So you can get MB now because this is Pythagoras theorem, right angle triangle. So if you use Pythagoras theorem, MB squared is equal to 6.5 squared minus root 13 squared. So it will be at the end, MB is equal to root 117 over 4 and just keep it for now so this is the length for mb if you want to use the formula of distance between two points to get the length of mb by using the coordinates of point m the coordinates of point b it will be square root of x2 minus x1 squared uh, plus y2 minus y1 squared so if you're going to use the coordinates for point m and point b uh, if you're going to find mb i'm going to use here x1 minus the coordinates of uh, m0, so x1 minus this 0 squared, plus y1 minus 2 all squared is equal to, we got the length of mb, which is root 117 over 4. You can cross out here the roots together, and this is mb. So now, what we will do is, we got uh, x1, x1 minus 0 all squared, it will be x1 squared. And now this is the moment you need to replace the y, which we you made before, that there is a relationship between the x and y. You need to replace now the value of x in here. So you can make the whole equation in x, you get x1, and then you, you go back to get y1. So instead of y1, I'm going to replace, and right here, I'm having 3x1 plus 4 all over 2 and then here I'm having minus 2 all squared is equal to 117 all over 4 117 all over 4 and then the next point is the next point will be uh, simplifying what's inside the brackets like here we have 2 over 1 you'll try to get a single fraction this is 2 over 1 and then you will work on the whole equation 
here to make this one two, the similar denominators, you need to multiply by two up and down here. So multiply by two, multiply by two, it will be four over two. So the new part is I'm gonna have now x1 squared plus here three x1 plus four all over two minus four all over two is equal to 117 over four. 117 all over 4. Now let's simplify what's inside the bracket. It's better to do simplifying what's out inside the bracket first and then we will see. Here you have a single denominator. You have similar denominator so it will be x1 squared plus uh, this will be 2 and here you're gonna have 3x1. Now we have plus 4 minus 4 you can remove them so I can write easily here all over 2 and you're gonna have 3x1 and all the squared is equal to 117 over 4 because here you have if you add up plus 4 minus 4 will be removed and 3x1 it has no like term so now we have x1 squared if you square what's inside the bracket it will be 9x1 squared all over 4 is equal to 117 all over 4. If you collect the like terms, like terms here, 1, one x squared, 1 x1 squared plus 9 over 4 x1 squared, it gives you uh, 13 over 4 x1 squared is equal to 117 over 4. You can cross out the 4 and 4, so the x1 will be just these are mental simplifications. You can do them from the calculator. So it will be x1 squared is equal to 117 over 13. And then you take square root, so x1 will be 3. Now since you got x1, so simply you can get y1. So the value of x1 after taking square root, take square root of 117 over 13, it gives you 3. To get y1, you need to replace 3 here, so you have 3 by 3, which is 9, 9 plus 4, 13, 13 divided by 2. So y1 will be replacing the value here. So it's 3 by 3 plus 4 all over 2. So y1 now is 6.5. So the coordinates for point B now is 3 and 6.5. Now let's move to get point D. Let's highlight this here. Now let's work on getting point D. Point M is the midpoint for the diagonal uh, BD here, as you see. So now you know the coordinates of the midpoint and you know the coordinates of one point. So how can you get this one? By using the formula of the midpoint. What's the formula of the midpoint? Point M can be found by using x1 plus x2 all over 2, y1 plus y2 all over 2. So, and the coordinates now for point M, it's 0 and 2. So you just, you need to replace the values uh, of x1 and, and y1, and then you will work on this to get the point D easily. So let's now replace point x1. x1 now it's 3, so you have 3 plus x2 all over 2 and you have you can just do it easily because we have no enough space here i will try to do this quickly i'm gonna take here uh x1 is three so three plus x2 all over two it gives you zero for the x's so it will be if you do cross multiply two by zero is zero so the x2 will be negative three because what i did here is i multiplied two by zero which is zero and then three plus x2 is equal to zero x2 is equal to negative 3. To get the y2, you will do the same thing here. y2. y2, you're going to replace um, here the y1. So we can just do it here. Let's do... Uh, I'm going to erase this part of the starting here to get the d. To clarify it to you, to everyone. So let's move here to, to find the point d. We can just erase this part and continue there. So here, um, as I said before, this question, it was out of seven marks. Uh, so now I'm going to use here 
x1 which is 3 so I'm having 3 plus x2 all over 2 gives 0 the coordinate for m so it will be 3 plus x2 is equal to 0 and then x2 is equal to negative 3 if you want to get the y coordinate it will be y1 what's y1 for the b it was 6.5 so you're gonna have uh, 6.5 plus y2 all over 2 it gives the coordinate for m was 2 so you now you need to multiply so 6.5 plus y2 is equal to 4 and then you need to shift there so y2 is at the end is negative 2.5 so what are the coordinates for point d if we're going to erase to have more space it will be the coordinates for point d will be at the end point d is negative 3 and negative 2.5 here are the coordinates for point d so you have b and d if you want to make sure you can work on uh, using the gradient the gradient for mb is the same as the gradient of bd because point uh, b lies on the straight line bd point m lies on the straight line bd so once we got the gradient of mb from the beginning it was i think three over two so now you have the coordinates for both uh, co uh, points point d and point b to make sure that your answer is correct so you will work on uh, using the formula for the gradient if it's equal to three over two so uh, hence the answers will be correct Thank you so much. I wish the, the video.